This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Hey, what's good guys? It's Nightwing2303 from Wartesters.com. And today we got a quick detailed look and review of these guys right here. This is the Anta KT Lite. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So these, as the name suggests, is a lightweight shoe. This is kind of a team or training shoe for the Clay Thompson Anta line, basically. Now in China, there are multiple different versions of Clay Thompson shoes, because that's kind of like their bread and butter signature athlete right now. They also do have an actual contract with the NBA, so they are able to use like NBA logos on their shoes and things like that. So they'll have like an entire NBA line of whatever the sneaker is. But like I said, their, their main bread and butter signature athlete right now is Clay Thompson, so they're really pushing him to push their brand, especially overseas. What I have heard is that there is going to be an American version of this shoe released in America via AntaAmerica.com. This is the Chinese version. I got these over at Famuji Sneakers. They're actually a reseller of Chinese footwear that will ship worldwide. There's only two that I know of. It's them and um, uh, what was the other one? HighBasketballShoes.com. So those are the two that you can kind of get like obscure Chinese based models if, if you were ever interested. I'll leave links in the description box below for anybody that, that is curious. So again, I've been told that from Anta America, they are gonna release this shoe in America. There's gonna be some small differences and things like that. I'll get into that later on because I plan on picking up a pair of those. But as far as this version here, the outsole itself looks awesome. As you can see, they're using full length herringbone, but they are using what they call the Control 5 outsole, which mimics the actual foot. I've always been interested in trying out this outsole, so I'm I'm very like excited to actually play in these. They feel good on foot as well. The cushion is stated to be Anta Eve, which is exactly the same stuff that they use on the KT2. That stuff was super comfortable. If you actually wanted to see what Anta Eve looks like, I will leave an annotation at the end of this video and it'll bring you to that video where I took apart myself personally a pair of KT2s and it showcases all the tech. We go through everything, what everything actually is, and that's you know how you're gonna know what the tech is and how shoes are put together. And that sneaker, the KT2, is quality for the price that you're getting. Like everything that they put in that sneaker is, is very nice. These, on the other hand, they feel slightly cheaper, and rightfully so. This is a, a lower-costing model. This this overseas, I don't know what the retail price is, but what you or I would pay for them to get them over here is 80 bucks. Now, the main construction of the shoe comes in the form of three different types of mesh or knitted material. The forefoot is actually very similar to Flyknit. It feels it feels freaking identical to flying and like I'm not even joking you can actually see through the the top portion of the shoe as well and it's unrestricted flying it too man like Anta did it before Nike did it <laughs> which is crazy and of course you do have a fuse rand over the toe high wear area it's to protect that material underneath because it is just a fabric knit and then the main section of the midfoot is just a typical mesh and then the back layer is a larger open celled mesh overlaid on top of that is a synthetic material and this is the part of the shoe that feels cheap it feels like it's gonna work just just fine though as far as performance hopefully they actually upgrade that for the American version though make it a little bit more premium feeling and I thought this was a one-piece booty but it's only connected on one side underneath here it's actually it's still connected but it's you know open a little bit so you can actually get your foot in and out pretty easily and then in the back of the shoe here there are heel notches as well which I do like the back of the shoe features the KT 11 logo and it also acts as the heel counter and then you have a well cushioned insole that comes with the shoe as well which is always a nice touch I think that the insoles are sometimes overlooked by brands, Adidas especially. They've been just putting in some really thin you know insoles and stuff like that and they used to have some of the best insoles so having something like that with a shoe like this even though it is like a cheap model and stuff like that I think that it is nice in terms of fit I do feel that they fit true to size so if you do plan on trying these guys out I would just order your regular size or you can just wait until they release stateside because shoe palace has an like an actual deal with Anta America so you can actually go in those stores and try these shoes on so that pretty much takes care of it let me know what you guys think about the KT light is it something that you're interested in are you impressed by the materials or you're not. I know because it's not a popular brand, everybody's gonna hate on them, like just like right off the bat. But if you open your mind up, there are other things out there and they're for less money. So you can, you know, take that money and go further with it. You can get a good solid hoop shoe 
Not saying these are, because I haven't even played in them yet, but the KT2s are. And you could do that for a reasonable price, and it's something outside the box. It's something completely different, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Now, I do plan on wear testing these as well. I started wear testing the KT2 Outdoor, but that shoe is that shoe is no good. I just, I just do not like playing in them. Everything about them is horrible, even the traction. The traction was like the coolest looking part of the shoe. The material sucked. The cushion really sucked, especially for an outdoor shoe. So I'm not going to actually performance review that. Same thing will happen here if I don't like these. If I ever don't performance review a shoe, it's because I don't like it and I don't want to sit here and like completely bash on it. Just know that by not doing the video, that's me saying, I'm, I'm not feeling them. These hopefully I actually like, so because I like the way that they look, I like the way that they feel on foot. So fingers crossed, but you never know. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for your support. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section and until next time guys, have a good one.